Hey everyone, my name is Adam Archer, and today we're going to be taking a look at what I purchased at Blade Show 2019. I did pretty good this year, got a lot of knives that I liked. Um, one thing you'll notice is most of it is automatic knives. I am trying to focus my collection on those, um, as well as I sometimes buy knives just for the outdoors as well. So, um, I got three different Blade Show specials from Automatic Knife uh, manufacturers. The first one is probably the most recognizable, and that is the Microtech Blade Show special. These actually lasted at least until um, I saw that they still had them in stock around 3 p.m. on Saturday. So, they lasted all of Friday, um, probably all of Saturday, and they probably sold out today, Sunday. And that is the Blade Show Special. It has the one ounce of silver and the Ultra Tech with the 25th anniversary logo on that. This is the Bayonet Grind right there. Very easy um, pull on that to switch. Um, it seems like they may have lightened those up a little bit more. Um, but that is the 25 or 25th year. They did increase the price due to that silver coin. Rather than the 125 that it had been in previous years, they did increase it up to 200. Um, I did hear rumors that they made maybe 1,200 of these, and um, that may be why there were still more of them on Saturday. The next Blade Series special that I got was from Heretic Knives. Um, the disappointing thing about these is that the only thing really that showed there was a Blade Show special was a sticker on the box. There's nothing on the knife itself that indicates that it is a show special, which would have been nice if it had some type of thing featuring it. This is basically a standard... Um, Full, uh, let's see, Manticore X Tanto Stone Wash Full Serrated Breakthrough Green. I love the handle on there. Um, so it's basically like black with green breaking through. And then it is a fully serrated edge. This is the first um, Heretic out the front that I own. Um, and I really like it. Very comfortable knife. I do like this one a little bit better than some of the other Manticore or Heretic models because this has a less dramatic pocket clip. Some of the other ones are just a little bit too large. Um, I'll leave that right here. Um, and then the last kind of blade show special was from Guardian Tactical. Oh, the Heretic um, uh, Manticore X was 200 bucks. The last Blade Show special was from Guardian Tactical. It was a blue, uh, what is the model? A uh, Recon 35. Even has its own little sound. One thing that's interesting with the Guardian Tactical knife, it actually has um, a metal base that the button slides against, which makes it very, very smooth to open and deploy. Oh, there we go. And this one does say Blade Show 2019 on the blade. It is numbered out of 50 on pocket clip. I don't know if you guys can see that though. Yeah, there we go. Out of 50. So this is, I believe, number 19, was it? Yeah. That was a fantastic deal. I think, um, I think 150 or 125, I don't remember. I think it was 150. Um, the only thing I noticed about this knife that I really do not like is how close that tip is to the outside. So you can, if you can hear that, my finger's actually scraping up against the tip of the knife. It's very close. You can see that. 
It's almost sticking out a little bit. Right there. Not really a fan of that. Um, if you put your hand in your pocket, um, it could possibly scratch you. Um, just one thing that I noticed about the um, Recon 35. I did notice that there are other ones, at least Blade Show Specials, were like that as well. The one that they had on display. Um, and you can see kind of the size difference between the Manticore X and the Recon 35. There you go. Um, next was just a random knife I purchased from A.G. Russell. I'd been wanting one of these small little knives. Very cool. I thought it would be good for the outdoors. Well, neck knife style. I don't even remember what it is called. Maybe a bird and trout style. I don't know. Very small blade, though. Next is a knife that I overspent on, but I, I'd been wanting one. Uh, this is the Dalton Jackal. It is the only dual action um, knife that Rob Dalton made. So um, you can open it up using the thumb stud or using the lever back here, and it's an automatic. So pretty cool. I think I got that from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Um, they had like used um, custom knives for sale. Pretty cool. So that is not actually the only Dalton I picked up. Um, one dealer apparently had this knife in their case. Hot on. There we go. They had this knife in their case, or they had it underneath their display, and then they had just taken it out and put it in their display case, and I was able to pick this one up. This is the Dalton M6. Very fast out the front, single action. Really like that one. There you go. Um, next, we'll save the custom Emerson for last. I did find a bunch of old cold steel knives. So what happened was Camillus, um, which would be this one. Camillus had a factory where they were producing knives for other companies, such as Cold Steel um, and some other manufacturers. Camillus went bankrupt, I believe, and closed down, but they ended up selling out a bunch of their disassembled knives or partially made knives, and that's actually what these are. These are the old Cold Steel. Let's see if you guys can see that. Zoom in. Cold Steel Trail Guide Plus with Carbon V Steel. And I was able to pick up four of them that are Cold Steel. Right there. So these four are Cold Steel branded, and this one is actually Camillus branded. Um, I'm wondering if this uses the Carbon V Steel as well. Uh, one thing I noticed on these is that they're not actually the full knife assembled because they're missing the pocket clip on here. So you can see there's actually a spot to put the pocket clip, but it is not on there. Uh, this is not the first time I've actually bought um, cold steel things that were part of the Camillus sellout. Um, I had actually bought a cold steel Archangel that had a couple pieces missing, and I've been assembling it slowly. So that is one thing I always keep my eyes out for. But I got those for $10 a piece, which I thought was a pretty good deal 
for um, old cold steel knives. Next is the last thing I purchased at Blade Show, and that is a custom Emerson. I did win the Emerson Lottery. And it is the Emerson Apache with rich light handle. So very high quality there. You can see just how dramatic that edge is, or that tip. There you go. That is a custom Emerson. This is my second custom, actually, from his lottery. The first one I had ever gotten was a CQC7 Flipper, which I actually still own. Um, I think he brought 42 knives to Blade Show. Um, and that was variations, whether it had micarta or this rich light handle. Um, I thought this one looked really nice. There you go. That is what I purchased at Blade Show 2019. Let me know what you think. Let me know which of these is your favorite. Um, in terms of which one's my favorite, I kind of like this M6. I really like the look of that blade. Anyways, thank you for watching, and have a great day.